The Sydney siege shook the world on the 15th of December, but Australians fought this hate crime in a loving way. The hashtag I'll ride with you is trending on Twitter. People have united themselves behind this hashtag, rejecting resentment toward Muslims. Salim, why is a hashtag like this needed? Well, to be honest, from experience during 9-11 and the 7-7 bombings as well, um, bearing in mind I was 11 and 15 when they happened, um, it was a very difficult time for me personally, for example, being in school and facing Islamophobia. I mean, to be honest, I didn't know what the word Islamophobia meant before 9-11. And now, nowadays it's become an everyday term. So it just shows you, you know, in the last 15 or so years where we've come and how Islamophobia is such a big thing. And, and therefore, hashtags like this are needed because f for Muslims that are struggling and, and that are scared to sort of be Muslim in public because yeah. of the way the media portray Muslims and sort of tarnish yeah. everyone with the same brush, um, it's important to have hashtags like this. Um, and what can the, Salim, what can the world learn from the way Australia handles this tragedy? Well, I think if we compare, for example, the mainstream media in Australia, um, the Daily Mail did a piece on, on people taking selfies outside of um, the Link Cafe. And it, it's a very negative story. Already, you know, we've got this horrible situation going on. And to focus on, on a story like that um, just perpetuates this whole negative mentality and, and all of the negativity that runs through the mainstream media. And to see people on the ground in Australia kind of rejecting this and, and coming together and, and being strong as people and offering their support to Muslims and, and it, it's quite positive and to be honest it restored my faith in, in humanity um, just to see that there are positive people out there and, and on the ground people aren't just buying into this whole negative story. Yeah. So and do you think this is like a movement to stay or do you think it will blow over as soon the media has lost its attention? Well I think inevitably like with social media the way it all works the hashtag will eventually die out um, but it will always be there as a sort of history piece that we'll see that when this happened in Australia this is how the people reacted and that's what's going to be there. It's going to be a testament to the fact that people have started to reject the, the mainstream narrative and the negativity and Islamophobia um, and although the hashtag will die the, the overall sentiment will live on and that's the positive thing that we can take from this. Um, beside the hashtags, how do you think we can stop the polarization against Muslims or hate hashtags? I think, that, to be honest, I mean, when we look at it, ideologically speaking, we'll never agree. I, you know, I believe one thing. I believe in one God, for example. You might believe there is no God. And um, what, what really we can only unite on is, is what makes us all the same, and that's being humans, essentially. You know, we all have the same moral compass So when it comes to doing good and and speaking out against evil, that's a thing that's across all people. And um, I think, you know, when it comes to sort of the extremes, there's always going to be people on those sides, but the people in the middle, we all kind of need to come together. So what, what really hit me with the I'll ride, to you, I'll ride With You hashtag, there was a story from someone I think called Rachel Jacobs, and, and she saw someone taking off their scarf. And what she did was she went up to her, told her to put it back on, and, and the, the, the Muslims started crying and hugged her. And that's where, you know, compassion between people, even though we might not agree, even though that Rachel didn't wear a scarf herself, the fact that she encouraged someone to stand up for her beliefs and, and to carry on practicing, that's, I think, where we need to kind of meet the, that middle ground. Wow, Salim, such inspiring words. If you want to know more about this hashtag, go to Twitter or check out interconnection.com.